We've got some more exciting news about the upcoming EA Sports College Football 25 video game that's coming out this summer. Now, for those of you that have been around this channel for the past couple of years, you know I've kept you up to date with every leak, rumor, and official news surrounding this game. And as we're about three months away from release, we're going to start to get a lot more news soon. But every week or so, we get a little bit more information, whether it's a leak, whether it's anything official from EA or people that are involved with the game speaking about it. We've been getting a lot of tidbits over the past few months, every week or so so and next month we're set to get the big reveal from EA themselves which should be pretty exciting but this week we've got quite a few bits of news that leaked out from different sources so I've kind of rounded them all up and I'm going to get you guys caught up to speed now if you are new to the channel and you never want to miss out on any of the future updates with this game especially next month when we're going to start seeing gameplay and things like that make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you never miss any of these videos when they go live also I'm going to be doing a big giveaway for this game when it drops giving away copies for both systems so make sure to follow me on my social media media accounts because that's where I will be doing the giveaways when the game goes live this summer. Now the first exciting bit of news that leaked earlier this week was Dove Kleinman, a very popular NFL Twitter account. I don't really know how he's affiliated or things like that, but he is a very big large account. They usually post rumors and leaks and stuff like that and sometimes he tends to be right about these things and he said that the College Football 25 game is expected to come out on July 19th. Now keep in mind EA has not put out an official release date yet. We should get that official release date next month when they do the big Big reveal for the game in terms of showing us trailers and gameplay and you know in-game images and breaking down some of the features we should get the official release date then however July 19th was kind of always one of the two possible dates for this game if you go back in history with NCAA football it usually drops the second or third week of July now granted it hasn't been out in a long time but we already know that they said July is the month that it's going to come out just like it used to back in the day and it really only makes sense to drop it during the second or third week of July because you do want to leave a little bit of room before Madden comes out at least a month to six weeks and usually Madden comes out during the third or fourth week of August so it would make sense that it would be one of those two dates now we did hear that July 12th was a possible release date months ago and like I said back then if it's not the 12th it'll be the 19th and now the current rumor going around from a lot of people in the know is that July 19th is going to be the date but again it's not 100% official yet but it does kind of make sense so that should be when we're getting the game which does mean if EA does some type of an early EA play trial which they've done with Madden in the past that means the week before which would be July 12th we might get an early version of the game to be able to play on EA play for like a certain amount of hours so that is also possibly going to be happening but hold up really quickly stop right there if you're in the sports and you want to try to win some money then you've got to be on underdog fantasy playing their pick em game it's super simple all you got to do is simply pick higher or lower on a wide variety of player stats and if they hit you can win some big money and since it's currently NBA season for example you could take a certain player like LeBron to get over a certain amount of points or you can take another player to get a certain amount of rebounds or lower than that amount whatever you think is going to happen but the best part about underdog fantasy is they're going to always give you a free play right at sign up to help you win some money and with the NBA playoffs starting next week underdog fantasy is going to have a ton of free plays for you where they'll give you one of the superstar players each night to get a single point and if that's not good enough, at sign up, if you use my code Ray, R-A-Y, they're going to also double your first deposit up to $100, meaning if you deposit $100, you get an extra free $100 on top of that to play with, and you just can't beat that. Now, shortly after that, Matt Brown put out some more leaks and updates surrounding this game. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you've heard of Matt Brown. He's been the number one most reliable source for this game over the past couple of years. He's gotten a lot of info from schools and institutions. He's also got a few people at EA that he's talked to here and there. And pretty much everything he's reported on over the last couple of years have all been true. They've either been confirmed by EA or other people that are involved with the game. And if he doesn't know something, he's always been the first to say, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know about this specific feature or this specific thing for the game so he won't speak on things he doesn't know and everything that he has spoken on has been true so when he speaks people know that it's reliable information and what he said this week he said number one the game is pretty much finished and that at this point they're kind of just doing those final tweaks and getting like the player likeness in the game which does make sense we're about three months from release and kind of the same thing with Madden usually when you're about three months out from release the game is done all of the major lifting is done all of the major things with the game are done like the game is playable right now they could put the game out right now but it wouldn't be a hundred percent there would be more bugs in it there would be some things that are not a hundred percent complete like player names and little bells and whistles type things but 
the game as a whole is done when it's three months out again again if we were to get a beta for this game like we do for madden i don't really think we will because it's the first time this game's returning so i don't think they want to show it early in a beta i think they want to just drop it and have everybody play it at the same time when it's actually released but let's say they were doing a beta for this the beta for this game would likely be next month for example two months before the game comes out so in order for it to be playable and in a beta stage that means the game has to be done which it is so that is you know a very reliable thing for matt brown to say because that's just typical of games in general he said basically they're just working on finishing up player likeness and doing some of you know the other assets and some of the sounds and things like that the smaller things that add a lot to the game but in terms of like features and game modes and gameplay stuff you know most of that stuff is pretty much about what it's going to be for the first release of this game now matt brown also spoke on some of the features in the game and one of the main things he talked about was the transfer portal and he got some new information about this and we know this is going to be one of the biggest factors for the game mode like dynasty mode and road to glory because transferring is such a big deal in real life now and he said that earlier on in the development cycle for this game players were only coded to transfer one time but the ncaa passed a rule recently that does allow athletes to transfer multiple times without actually having to sit out so now players in dynasty mode will be able to actually transfer more than once so they're kind of fixing that part of the game i don't know if that's 100 percent done yet or if they're still working on it as we speak but it will be done by the time the game comes out and basically they're coding it now to where players will be able to transfer around if you want to go to a different school each year you can do that because players in real life can do that now however they did say that they are trying to find the right balance for this to not make it overwhelming for the users of the game to where i guess a player is transferring four times so there may be somewhat of a limit there they're trying to find the right balance to make it both realistic but fun because i think for for some players that maybe want to play more casually they, they don't want to bring in star players and have them all transferring out very consistently maybe or just just jumping around so much so there might be some type of a limit in place maybe three times or something like that he, he didn't say for sure what it would be but he did say that they're trying to work a balance to make it both fun and realistic now this should also hold true for road to glory it was only spoke about dynasty mode specifically but i'm sure this is going to also be the same for road to glory where you are in your career mode and if you want to change schools as your player each year just to make it more fun and interesting you should be able to do that if they're doing it for dynasty mode but they didn't speak on that specifically another thing he said was that of an, another important little tidbit that he dropped is he said ea is working on the game logic to make sure that the future seasons in your dynasty mode will actually play out in a realistic manner because if you remember in some of the older ncaa games and this even holds true for madden games to this day a lot of times when you're getting into these dynasty modes or franchise modes it's not always the most realistic in terms of how the simulation aspects go for other teams and players especially as you get further into the dynasty or franchise mode and a problem that old ncaa games had was sometimes these schools that you know would almost never become a dynasty in real life sometimes they would in ncaa and i think one of the examples would be like you know army or navy or something like that how often do you see those teams become like powerhouses you know it doesn't really happen often or if at all because those institutions really aren't set up in a way for that to happen consistently but in ncaa a lot of times that would happen and so they're trying to make it more realistic in terms of not letting those types of schools become powerhouses or dynasties as you sim into the future because in real life you would likely never see that maybe they have a good season or two here or there but it's not something that's going to happen all the time so they're trying to make sure that that stuff is in place which is really important because that's an area that madden lacks we know they've done a lot of work on this game and we fully expect it to be better than madden and it's little things like this that's going to make it better more realism more depth more immersion and things like that now another interesting thing that's been happening lately as some of you might have seen is that these ea sports college football 25 posters have been going up around college towns more and more each day we've seen them pop up at michigan at florida at ohio state at alabama i mean they're popping up everywhere florida state and basically it's like old school guerrilla marketing where they're putting up these posters advertising the game and they're even putting player names on some of these posters letting you know who exactly is in the game from these schools now obviously they're not listing every name but they're listing some of the bigger names and some of the people that have already opted in so it's kind of just a cool thing and a lot of these posters even around campus some of them have been getting torn down by students of the school because they're going and like putting them in their dorm rooms and stuff because this is kind of a unique time we don't really see video games a lot of times advertise this way anymore but because you know they're making a big splash with this game coming back for the first time in 10 years they're really trying to just go all out with the marketing and the hype for this game but an interesting thing about all these posters that are going up they're all in a similar type of formula 
formula here. And what's interesting, for example, we'll pull up the Michigan one right here, the defending champs. And you'll see that there's like five different posters, but two of them have player names on them. So you have the first one here that says I'm in the game and it has like four players. And then the third poster has more names on it. But what's interesting is if you go and look at these, they're all over Twitter, you know, different EA sports college football accounts are posting them. But the first picture that has the four names in them, I've heard a lot of people speculating about what this means because that first poster, the four names that are in that are the bigger name guys at the school, like the guys that are either like Heisman candidates or, you know, projected to be top picks or just top players from that school. Whereas the names that are in the third poster are not as big of names. And so some people are trying to say, well, maybe that first poster, those four names that are in the first poster for each school maybe that's either their x factor or superstar players which we don't know if that feature is going to be in this game but i personally am assuming it will be because it's such a big deal for madden i know a lot of people don't like it you know some people love it some people hate it but because it's in madden i'm assuming they might do that same thing for ncaa but if they don't do it that way they might just do the old system where they're just impact players but a lot of people believe that the names that are listed in the first poster are going to be those type of players for the school either they're going to have some type of ability or they're just going to be labeled as impact players and have a star under them like the old days so for example Michigan it's hard to read this but for example you got Donovan Edwards and you got Will Johnson those are two of the bigger players from that school obviously those would be two impact players or two x-factor players for that school so if you see these posters popping up on Twitter and you want to know who are going to be like the highest rated and potentially who are going to be those x-factor type players look in the first poster because that's probably what it means now if you want to know more about some of the official features that are going to be in this game, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen.